you, despite your disagreements with, with many areas of uh, queer rights, you have spoken out against violence against young gay people. That's what sure. do you think can be done in high schools to approach, to address this kind of, uh, this kind of bigotry and, and violence? I don't think it's a very simple question as far as uh, young people go, teenagers go, because my observation is that uh, teenagers are going through sexual development and it can be quite dangerous, I think, promote homosexuality in schools to children. Uh, boys uh, often, uh, as they're going through up to puberty, uh, don't, want to be, don't want to be with girls, they want to be with boys, and that's how God planted. There's a sexual development in a boy and in a female. And if you get hold of that boy at that stage when he's only 14 or 15 and say, do you like to be with girls? Oh, yuck, I can't stand girls. Well, you're really a, you're really a homosexual. And he said, am I? Yes, yes. And the same thing with a girl, you're really a lesbian. And I think it's very dangerous to promote this in schools. Let the children How develop. How do you promote something grow you're born? And you're grow, born gay. Let them grow you naturally. Can't... I'm sorry, I'm sorry Mr. How Null, but promote? how is promoting acceptance of difference in schools of promoting homosexuality? It's not. Homosexual, you are born gay. Very quickly, I'm going to have to ask yeah. you to respond to that, Fred. No, I'm just saying you can confuse boys and girls at that sensitive age when they're still developing sexually. I think the only thing that you can confuse people with is whether it's OK to hate people because of difference. No. OK, we'll have to leave that discussion there and move on. We do want to remind our viewers that if anything that comes up in tonight's discussion makes you feel like talking to somebody, Lifeline is always there for you. 13, 11, 14, they're ready to take your call.